all of San Diego. This is your Fox 5 News. Plus, he's the mastermind between the original, behind the original Halloween horror film. Mm -hmm. Coming up, the creator of the franchise is joining us in studio. In studio. Oh, boy. Oh. Don't do that. Stop doing that. It's not be afraid. <laughs> be afraid. Michael Myers is around the corner. He created the iconic horror film franchise, <laughs> Halloween. Coming up, the genius behind that movie will join us live in studio. Uh, please. He's not going to scare you. He's going to talk about how the genre has changed over you the could, years. You could do it. The man is here with Fox 5. We'll be right back. Before the slasher films that we see today, there was one horror flick in particular that started it all. You recognize the music. The movie was Halloween. And here's the mastermind behind that film franchise, Mr. Erwin Yablond. Easily one of the horror movie genre's leading men. Erwin joins us now here in the Fox 5 studios. And just to hear, you know, you walking in our set, Erwin, have a seat with that music Hi, playing in the background. I tell you what, um, I'm kind of creeped out, I'll be honest with you right now, just hearing that song, hearing that music. Welcome. Thanks for coming. We appreciate having you here. Uh, you have, we have a, no, a book out, right? This yes. is a brand new book, and uh, you're going to have a book signing. Fans can come out, meet Irwin in person. We're going to get to more details on that in a moment. But first, we got to talk to you about uh, you pay good money to be scared is what you say in your book. I love that because it's so true. When you go to see one of these movies, that's what you want. How did you accomplish that when you created Halloween? Well, you have to remember that I... Uh, I had a long career in the movie business with mm -hmm. major companies like Warner Brothers and Paramount. Then I started my own company, and uh, I wanted to make independent films. Mm -hmm. uh, along came a... This was the days of the studio system when the moguls were around. They, they really didn't pay much attention to independent filmmakers. A young uh, film student was brought to my attention by the name of John Carpenter. He had made a movie called Siege, which I looked at and I thought it was brilliant. I. Uh, we made a deal for me to distribute it. I right. retitled it to Assault on Precinct 13, took it to Europe to sell some foreign countries, and along the way, I got a phone call in London one evening. Yeah. A man named Michael Myers phoned me. <laughs> oh, you got a call from Michael Myers? Yeah, yes. he said, he spoke with an English accent, and he said to me, I'd like to enter your film into the London Film Festival. We think it's wonderful. So we did. It won. <laughs> got first yeah. prize. Yeah. I began to think, I've got to make a movie with this young man before the studios find out about him, because they were all sitting around and yeah. not paying attention. I'm on a Boeing 747, 14-hour right. flight, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do? I get, it's got to be a horror film, and I can explain <laughs> why in a minute, but it, I, I kept thinking about what, what, what kind of a horror film? Ah, a movie about babysitters in jeopardy being terrorized, and we'll do it all in one night. Oh and then the thought of just <laughs> the light bulb moment, it was like an epiphany. Wow. Uh, the, Halloween. No one's made a movie about Halloween, have they? I thought perhaps the title had been used, yeah. but never had been. And it was. It was the first time the title has ever appeared in a movie. I jumped off the plane when I got there 14 yeah. hours later, ran home, told my wife, she said, call John. It's brilliant. <laughs> I got him on the phone, say no more. We met the next day and I gave him only these instructions. This is to be theater of the mind. I grew up with radio, of course, before of there course. was television. Sure, sure. And I want no gore, no blood, just suspense and methodical scares every few minutes. I'm getting chills right now because I'm, rem I'm <laughs> reminded of the first 20 times I saw Halloween and it, that theater of the mind thing. Was, it's, the no gore thing is what's so critical. It's scarier without the gore. That's right. Theater, I call it theater of the mind. And, uh, you know, in the book I describe, uh, very interestingly, I think, how I... Uh, after seeing the picture for the first time right. before music and sound were in it mm -hmm. and thinking, wow, we've got a pretty good movie for what... We made the movie for $300,000, so... <laughs> oh, my goodness. But it <laughs> didn't quite get there. 
But when I saw the music, With that the score. brilliant inspired oh. symbol. You know, John Carpenter wrote yeah. that music. He played I asked that you music. earlier, who wrote the score? For the, and I couldn't believe that it was John Carpenter himself who did it. Yes, and it's called the Bowling Green Symphony Orchestra. Oh. Of course, it's become iconic. My wife has it on ringtones, and wherever you go, That's you'll your hear wife's it. ringtone, yeah. Erwin? Oh, really? Yeah, you can get it, too, if you I, like. I think I'm going to do it right but now. But, you know, the yeah. music, the, if you'd have told me 34 years ago, yeah. after we initially opened the picture, but I'd be sitting here being interviewed about this movie. I never would have believed it. But the movie has truly become a classic. Yeah. Uh, did you even have a... I mean, you mentioned the success of it has been unbelievable. It's become a franchise. They've made, I don't know how many nine. movies now. They were up to nine, yes. including the, the reboot uh, not too long ago. But your thoughts on those? I mean, do those live up to what you no. expected? No, that became... Uh, I'm glad you, you're you honest. I, I appreciate that. They are not. I, yeah. I, I, I only feel really proud of the first one because it was yeah. an inspiration. It, yeah. it was one yeah. of those things you get once in a lifetime. You know, in the book, I have a subtitle on here. You know, it, it, I haven't got my glasses on. Maybe let me, you can let me read see. Let me read this subtitle here. It says, How a Bit of Desperation and Inspiration Gave Birth to the Movie That Changed Hollywood. Yeah. Oh. Desperation or inspiration, yep. you know, in the book I talk about my life. You know, my younger brother, worked, uh, we both started the movie business loading trucks for Warner Brothers right, right. out of high school. Ew, he wow. became president of Paramount Pictures. <laughs> Look at you two. <laughs> so in the book I describe, I describe our struggle in the film yeah. business and how it evolved, how the movie business evolved from the studio system to the advent sure. of the independent producers, which I think has mm. really improved the quality of movies today. You know, it's unbelievable. Uh, we're all huge fans of, of Halloween, and if you want to meet Irwin yourself, my goodness, take the opportunity. Book signing tonight, yes. 7 o'clock, Mysterious Galaxy Books. That's right around the corner, right here in beautiful downtown Kearney Did Mesa. Did you know that the movie is opening in a thousand theaters for the first time since the initial release? The October original? October 25th. In the theaters. original? Yes, in theaters. I'm taking her. <laughs> yes, she's... I know. She loves horror films. She was telling me all about it. She... she she didn't like the fact that I told her how I used to scare my kids when they were little. Oh, no, no. That's I, I, I scared my sister with my Michael Myers stuff during... Oh, it's... Beautiful influence, uh, Irwin. Thank uh, you so much, sir. We appreciate it. That is the book. You got to go check it out. Yes. Go meet this man tonight at seven o'clock. Read my book. <laughs> and it's coming out again. Oh, by the way, October twenty fifth. This was published by Create Space, oh, Amazon.com, perfect, perfect. and Amazon.com is where I'm you get it. Wipe your copy, Irwin. Thank you very much. Get I'm going to autograph it for you. Appreciate that, Charlie. Over to you. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> she doesn't like to be scared, Irwin. Nobody does, but I do. I love. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing that. Still ahead. Kicked off a bus because...